Can I just spend a minute on the president of the United States reaction when this broke? So news had broken that we had this shooting at this Nashville school, that three children were dead, three adults as well. The president knew this. Okay, I want you to keep that in mind, the audience too, when we watch this. He knew that. He was coming down to address the cameras on that subject. And this is what he started with. My name is Joe Biden. (laughs) I'm Dr. Joe Biden's husband. (laughs) And I ate Jenny's ice cream, chocolate chip. (laughs) I came down because I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. (laughs) By the way, I have a whole refrigerator full upstairs. (laughs) I think I'm kidding. Where is your humanity? How disgusting and off key. Right? This is what 35% approval rating looks like. I, that infuriates me. How, how, there's a chance the parents are watching that. There's, yeah. there's a chance the parents have the TV on because the president of the United States is going to address the murder of their nine year old. And that's how you fucking start. I'm sorry, but it's, I, no, I know, that's you know, how the you first start. thing I thought is those little, those little nine year olds, like my little nine year old, she loves, ice cream treats, you know, like after school, like that's where my, my head went first is like, you're going to talk about ice cream and nine-year-olds were just gunned down and those nine-year-olds, they will never have like, you know, that special mommy daughter ice cream Sunday date. And you're going to freaking come downstairs and that's how you're going to lead off. Like what an absolute embarrassment and disgrace. And it reminds me of the time he was, remember when he was checking his watch? Yes. Yes. It reminded me of that. Just no humanity. No humanity at all. And, and I mean, this guy that is the president of the United States, he is unwell too. You guys, we are, we, this is a mental illness crisis that we're facing with the leader of the free world cannot even come down in a, in a tragedy like what happened yesterday and compose himself. He's talking about ice cream cones. You're and, right. He seemed like the doddering old fool. He's the, he's mentally unwell. Why are we not talking about this? Why are we yeah. not demanding his mental competence be tested? The leader of the free right. world there, unwell. There, there, there's something really off about the clip. Like, it's really off. It, it was, it's one thing if he didn't know, but he knew, and he went on from there to address these murders. So it's, it's almost incomprehensible in how insensitive it is. And it does sort of, you're right, lead you back to, what about his competence and his yeah. wellness? Meanwhile, President Unity, because remember... That's what he called for when he got elected. That's what he called for right after the midterms. He was feeling really good. Like his, his party got reelected uh, in the Senate. They lost the House, but by a lesser margin than they thought. President Unity was going to bring us together. Dark Brandon was gone. Sends his press secretary out there yesterday with the following message. To immediately blaming the GOP for the shooting. Stop three. How many more children have, have to be murdered before Republicans in Congress will step up and act to pass the assault weapons ban, to close loopholes in our background background check system, or to require the safe storage of guns. We need to do something before another child is senselessly killed in a preventable act of gun violence. How is it preventable? How? How exactly? Even their assault weapons ban doesn't doesn't ban a semi-automatic handgun. That, that's, that could easily have killed six people in 15 minutes. Easily. You don't need an AR-15 to do that. I mean, like, th- th- these are lies. And they prevent us from focusing on the real issues. Spring is finally here. The days are getting longer. It's so nice, isn't it? It's so nice to have them get a little longer. The weather's getting a little warmer, too. I mean, it is. I hate to even say it out loud, but it is. And we know what this means. It's time to get outside and enjoy your backyard. What better way to do that than with the Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas? The Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spa is the perfect way to create your perfect backyard this season and for many seasons to come. Designed to be used year-round, you can swim, exercise, and relax in the convenience and privacy of your backyard. It's like having your own private oasis at home. Plus, delivery and installation take less than a day once your space is ready. The water current creates resistance so that you can swim in place. And because it is heated, you can choose your perfect water temperature. Enjoy pure relaxation in the massage therapy seats of the swim spa. 
Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. You are going to love your Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. Go to masterspas.com slash MK for a special offer right now. You'll save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. Again, go to masterspas.com slash MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.